So this is a video about how to have your dog in a place. Um, I give it a place command, so that means that they lie on their bed, their mat or towel, whatever you've chosen to put on the floor, and that's their place. It's a really useful thing to have your dog um, accustomed to doing, so that you can take them to, say, a dog-friendly cafe or pub, or when you take them over to a friend's house and you want them to be on their best behaviour, or even if you're having friends around for drinks at your own house and you don't want the dogs to be going up to them, nudging the cups of tea and things all over the place, it's just a, a nice easy command so they know that they stay in their one area. The way I do it is initially with a lead so that you can guide your dog to the area that you want them to go to. Um, once they're familiar with the place command, then you can just guide them with their collar over to the area and say the word place. You don't have to say stay because that's an inbuilt thing into the word place. They know that they're not allowed off place until you give the release command, which I use the word okay for. Um, so I'll just demonstrate that now with two playing dogs. Oh yeah. So it doesn't matter what she does, she can sit, lie down, um, stand, turn around, whatever she wants to do, but she's not allowed off there until I give the release command. She's not brilliant at this yet because we haven't done it many times, so um, if she does come off the mat uh, for this exercise in this video, then it'd be quite useful to just for you to me to show you what, what you would do in that situation. So I'm going to almost try and tempt her off there with some distractions around. When you have the first few sessions, then you have very low distraction, so you'd only want um, a quiet area. And if you have two dogs, then preferably just the one dog in the area, so that the other dog isn't playing in the background and wanting to draw this one off place. Um, I have got my other dog walking around, but um, it just adds a distraction at the minute, so it's quite, quite fine. So you'd initially just walk around your dog and place mat. <clears throat> if it doesn't come off, that's great. The way that you get them off is like this. Okay. And then when you take them back, place. So she's chosen to stand, that's fine. Um, as long as she's on the mat. It doesn't matter if two feet are off occasionally, but ideally all four on. And if they're not quite sure what you want them to do, if you just stand still in front of them, then they will eventually just lie down if that's what you want them to do. When they have laid down, then you can walk away. But if you step inwards a little bit, it usually makes them lie down. Wait for them, of course, anyway. Okay, that's that, that's good. So I'm going to use some distractions. We've got some toys. She's not allowed off. We've done a little bit of work with this already. So I'm also going to pretend that there's someone at the door. I usually run to the front door, so I'll do that now, and sometimes it brings her off. Hello! That's good, that's fine. So if she did break command and would just walk off, um, what you would then do is say the word no as they're going away from the mat, not as they're turning to back towards the mat, because that's uh, detrimental to what you're trying to create. Um, so as she's going away, you just say no, in a, just a firm voice, not harsh, shouting, nothing like that. Then hold, take hold of the collar, walk back towards the mat, and just guide her back to it. You wouldn't have to say the word place again, because you've already said that. So, here we go.